tried one. Uh, sorry, I don't have my mic again. Uh, it's inside, but uh, it is starting to rain on me, so I didn't want to uh, have this video too long and then it gets pouring rain, for example. So, I was on mine. We're going to take a look at what has been done after what I did the other day. Because if you guys saw, uh, I did a little short video, which is the YouTube, it's in uh, beta for YouTube right now, and it's called YouTube Shorts where you do a video that is a portrait in 60 seconds or less. Uh, actually under, I think it's under 60 seconds it has to be. And I was just showing off the floor in my car. Oh no, the carpet. That's what it was. Um, and I didn't actually do the floor video that I wanted to do, but that's okay. Uh, if you want to see the pictures though of the floor, you can on my Instagram. Like before I did what was in here because I got the carpet installed. which. Oh god, that was a bitch, and I'm still feeling it, because like my, my back is not in great shape. But, uh, you know, let's take a look, and it's not perfect in here right now, like, I still need to detail the rest of this, but it looks a lot better than it did. Especially with all that red carpet in it now. Because, uh... And you'll see some trim that doesn't really fit 100%, that's just because it's beds and there's nothing I can really do about that. Like, it, the screws won't go in, etc, etc. But, you know, like... Check it out. I've got carpet. And it's quite a bit quieter in here now, actually. Like, uh, the only issues though, because this is a center console. Like, this carpet came out of the center console car, so there's gaps around the shifter and around the e brake handle. But, uh, you know, it still needs to be detailed a little more, but honestly, it's it's quite nice. Uh, teeth seem to be detailed, all the different stuff. The entire thing needs to be cleaned out. And also, because I cleaned out, or because I replaced the door seal on the passenger side, uh, I forgot that I had didn't have the screw in for any of the back screws in for the, uh, um, yeah, let's get in front of the camera here. That I didn't have any of the screws in for both of these points. And because of that, now with that new door uh, seal in it, you have to slam the door and it does that now. But honestly, if you just move it up, put it back in, yeah. <laughs> Whatever. I'll get more. God, these seats need to be cleaned so bad. Just, uh, these came out of that same uh, 83 parts car, which if you guys want to see that, um, I did have it linked in my previous video. I'll also have that linked in this video as well of when I had the parts car, which that thing was roached. Holy crap, the thing was bad. But it got me some good parts, you know? It got me, well, the rear defrost switch, which functions, because mine didn't. I actually bought the entire car just for that switch that's up here. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. It's up here. But uh, as well, um... I needed new seats anyways, so I grabbed the seats out of it as well, and I grabbed the carpet. Everything else, I just, I parted out or sold it, and I think I made like 250 bucks off that car. So, not bad, I paid 350 for it. Pretty decent. And I had it for, I think, I don't know, four months, something like that. About a month of that, I could barely walk, because I was recovered from my surgery, but, uh, yeah, now all this really left, like, obviously, you know, it just, it needs a deep clean in here. And which I want to do, but I might just pay my buddy Cody to do it. Um, because he's offered for people that if you want to get, uh, you know, some detailing done, that he just does it for friends and family. So, you know, I'll, uh, he's not making a business out of it. But, uh, you know, I'm definitely interested in uh, getting this thing cleaned out. Now that it has a carpet in it, it's much better versus before where it was just, you know, complete like just bare floor and it wasn't worth doing anything with it right um but as well and you'll notice on the video that uh where this mount is down here that it's really badly welded um it sticks but it's ugly and the thing is i did that in a short pinch I didn't have any gas for my MIG, so I was flux coring it, because it's, it's a flux core slash MIG. A little Mastercraft. It works great, honestly. I love that welder. Um, but, because also my grinder quit out, 
that I did uh, a really dumb thing. And I mean, and I know, the thing is, if you know the rules, you can break them. <laughs> right? Um, is the, uh, there's a counterweight on this stud, right? And it's supposed to go underneath the mount. Well, I didn't do that because my grinder quit out, so I said, screw it, and I just was just welding it back into place. Um, and, which I still haven't replaced that one, uh, that one yet, that grinder, but that's okay. So, instead, I just welded the counterweight onto it, so it actually sits a little higher there, but honestly, it still sits flat and it works, it's fine, and it's still comfortable to drive. This is actually more comfortable than, uh, Lilo, to drive. It really is. Like, that's more fun to drive because it's got a functional stereo. It's convertible, you know, that sort of thing. This doesn't have a functional stereo. Like, this doesn't work. But, um, yeah, but as well, actually, I want to give a couple other updates. And let me just throw this stuff out of the car. Ah, there we go. Let's go to the back of the car and get a couple ah, updates. I'll fix that one of these days. Um, so, louver situation. Uh, of course, you know, they're still on the car for now. I'm, uh, basically, I'm trying to find a box that's actually going to work. And don't worry, I actually do have this one. It's just, I removed it because I was trying to find a wing nut to replace that broken nut. But, you know, because they don't, you can't really find plastic nuts anymore. So, uh, I'm just going to have to go to, like, Canadian Tire or something like that and get some because you can't find them local. Really ridiculous how you can't find a 10, 30 seconds freaking wing nut local. So once, uh, you know, I have a proper box for this, because I do have, I bought packing peanuts and everything to pack this up properly, um, that once I have a proper box, I can then get you guys shipping quotes oh, on the, uh, the louvers. Um, but then as well, and something, and I should address this, because there was a lot of people buttered over it is on my last uh, full video, I was doing kind of a walk around of Lilo explaining what was going on and of a potential new project, which we are actually picking up now. And I actually got uh, a lot of people that were upset with me. And I just want to reiterate something, okay? You know, I was, uh, that 86 Mustang right now, like, don't get me wrong, I haven't had any real offers on it. I've had some trade offers, but it's just not what I'm really looking for, or not something that I could sell easily, and nobody's throwing me uh, an offer on the car. So it's just like, okay, fine. It might not even sell, and that's totally fine. Um, I'm starting to get money again, so I can actually get the parts I need to put the engine in that and make it go down the road again without it pluming black smoke like it does. Cause that was bad. I don't know if you guys want to see that video, uh, just look back and you'll, you'll find that video. I'll link that one down below too, I'm sure. Um, but you know, cause I did preface the thing that it said I might be selling my 86 Mustang and replacing it with a 78 Honda Civic, which the thing is the Civic is actually my dad's car, right? That's going to be my dad's car. I'm going to help him a little bit with it. Because he did help me with Stitch a bit, so I'm going to do the same with him. Um, we are going to do a YouTube series on that. Hopefully, you know, more so than just like a video or two. Um, just due to the fact this thing has sat for 20 years, right? So it's it's definitely, it, it needs to be safe, right? And I love reviving old cars. And the thing is, we're going to go more in depth with this one versus the other ones that I've done. Um, well, the fact that I haven't really done, haven't showed you guys really much of what I've done in the past, but this one I'm hoping that we can because, because it's sat for 20 years, we're going to have to drop the uh, fuel tank out of it, clean it out, clean out the, the fuel lines, probably go through the brakes because I don't believe it has any. We don't have keys for it, so we're going to have to get keys made, which starts at about 231 bucks, but that's okay. Not the end of the world there. Um, and then basically see if the thing will run too and show you guys the process of actually testing a vehicle's health for it to be properly run 
and as well showing you guys how to do an oil change and stuff like that too. It's going to be a really fun ride and I hope you guys do enjoy it because I know a majority of you people are here for these, but it doesn't mean I don't branch out and do other stuff too. Like the Civic for example, and what's really cool is that it'll fit in the driveway and my dad will still be able to park his Magnum here. It's, it's a win-win. Um, you know, that'll come home Monday, but by the sounds of it, uh, we're going to get AMA back here because, you know, without keys, we can't, we were going to actually attempt to do this as a, okay, get it running and then drive it home. Well, it doesn't have keys, which we weren't told that before we went out there. Kind of annoying, but, oh well. It, uh, it is what it is. Yeah, and I was just, uh, waving at my buddy Nils over there. He's on his bike. With his mother and somebody else there. Oh, that's his girlfriend. Um, but uh, yeah, and he's got some cool cars too. And I'm gonna ask him in the future too if I can film his ride, because he's got some cool stuff. He's got a '72 uh, Mustang Fastback, um, or '73, I think. I think it's '73. Yeah, '73 Mustang Fastback. It's it's ratty, but it's cool. He's got a '68, I believe. Galaxy two-door uh, coupe, like the coupe body, not the uh, the sedan body or the because uh, I think it's got the post in it, so yeah, two-door post. Um, let's see what else does he have? There is a '57 Bel Air that's rot rot rat rotted out sort of thing. I know they're gonna put a 4BT Cummins in it. I don't know what happened with that. Um, and he's got a uh, three plus three dually uh, Chevy pickup from the '80s pretty cool actually what he's done to the truck is nice because when he was selling it oh god the thing was like ugly and i mean to be honest it's not perfect he and he knows that and it's fine i just but that's how he is right he knows that a lot of the stuff that he's doing isn't like oh my gosh so quality but he doesn't care right and that's what's cool about the car hobby you know people can look at his vehicles and go oh that's a piece of shit but then there's me that comes along and goes that's really cool same with this, right? This is the perfect epitome of that. Most people that see this, see a rough ass car that's a complete pile of crap. But if you actually delve deep into this thing, it's one of the most solid Fox bodies around. There's hardly any rust on it. You know, there's one little hole in the floorboard that big that's not through the floorboard yet. It's only on the bottom side. You can't see from the top side yet. So um, that'll have to be replaced, like fixed, which kind of annoying, but oh well, not the end of the world. Um, and then, there's a pinhole in the trunk of rust, and then there's surface rust all over. Other than that, zero rust on this car. It's amazing. So uh, that's why I want to get this thing painted and everything here soon. But it's not going to happen soon. It's annoying. Although, uh, along with tomorrow, Pat might be in the area. So, you know, I might be able to finally meet Pat. Which, me and Pat have known each other for about, I don't know, four years now? Three years, something like that. And we talk just about every day, and you know, I'll finally get to meet him. The, the one person that uh, has all the knowledge that I'll need for a lot of this stuff. Because, like, don't get me wrong, I have a ton of knowledge, but there's a lot of stuff that I don't know how to do, and he'll help me out with that, right? And you won't be condescending about it like most mechanics are, because I hate that. So, uh, yeah, um, other than that, you know, it's uh, my baby's here. I am thoroughly enjoying driving Stitch right now. Although on Tuesday, she's going to be fully fixed underneath. It's going to get a, uh, the new... It will no longer knock up front. It's going to have the new bushing in. It's going to have new rear bushings as well for the control arms up back. Um, and it's going to have an alignment because, well, you could probably, probably could tell. My wheels are straight. That's how off my steering wheel is after I got the new rag joint and um, and steering rack in. So, yeah. But no, I am quite happy with my girl now. Because before it was, it was just kind of annoying. But, uh, you know, finally getting some more progress on this car. And, yeah. And then hopefully, soon, I'll have enough money to fix up my girl here. Because I really love this car. I don't want to get rid of it. It is for sale, but I don't want to get rid of it. It's a three-owner car that has 197, 198,000 kilometers on it. And it just, it runs so rough. And there's nothing I can actually do about that. Because, like, out the back here, it'll plume black 
smoke when you rev it. Like that motor is pooched. There's no really fixing that without just like taking it out and seeing if it could be rebuilt. Cause who knows that cylinder wall might just be absolutely screwed. I've never done a compression test on this one, but actually reaching the, uh, the spark plugs on the passenger side are a bitch. So I don't even know actually how to get there without just removing a bunch of shit. I don't want to do that. That's why I like stitch where very easy to get the spark plugs and everything under the hood of that thing. But, uh, Yeah, well, um, so I'll end the video here. Uh, thank you guys all so much for watching. Um, you know, this is, uh, I'm, uh, quite excited for tomorrow. Sorry, my, my brain just didn't function. Um, and as well, something that I'm actually looking for, if you are in Alberta, and if you have a full car or even just the rear window, let me know. I'm looking for a notchback rear window. And no, it's not to replace this glass. This glass is original, it's fine. However, for the metal louvers that are being made, the guy that's making them wants a proper template for that. So it's just like, okay, that's fine. I, I don't mind trying to find one. And it might just be that I buy a full car that's cheap. Doesn't need to run, doesn't need to have a motor, nothing like that. I don't care. I don't care how much rust is in it. Max budgets maybe about, I don't know, 250, 300 bucks for a full car. Uh, just the, my only uh, conditions is that it has to roll no matter what. If there's a wheel lockup, that's fine, but it has to roll. So, yeah. Or if you just have the rear glass that you'll sell to me, let me know because uh, that makes my life easier. Although there are some parts that I want if I can find a uh, an earlier notch back. Um, well, it doesn't even have to be a notch back, but you know, because there is a couple parts, and there is a guy down near. Uh, he's south of Madison Hat that has two cars that I'm interested in. One's, I call it the Taco Mustang because it looks like it hit a pole going very fast and it just, right, you know, it's, it's bad. Or the U-Body Mustang <laughs> instead of the Fox Body. Um, and then he has another one, which is a 1980 or 81. It was a four-cylinder, but I don't think it has a motor anymore. And I'm not sure if it has wheels on it. But if I could package the two of them up for like 400 bucks and get it down up here, I would do that in a heartbeat. Because the, the C body is what I call it, is a stick. So I could take that T5, put it in here. I was thinking about the NV3500, but yeah, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, especially with my buddy now, like with Pat selling his shop, that includes the water jet table. <laughs> so that's how we were gonna make the adapter plate for that. So that's fine. A T5 will bolt right into this, it just needs minor modification. Um, I'm not sure what the modification is, we'll find out. But, um, yeah, when we get down to that, because that, that's mud sun right. So, uh, yeah, anyways, uh, hope you guys do enjoy the video. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, if you did, you know, please give it a like. Um, and if you see anything that I can improve upon, you know, let me know, because my videos aren't going to change very much, but in the future there will be some editing and stuff like that. I have dabbled a little bit with the editing, and there's going to be more projects in the future that will require a lot more editing, and that's fine. And I can actually do that better with this phone, and it has way better quality picture too, and it's super steady. I like, it's got a super steady mode on this new Samsung camera, it's great. Um, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. If a little bit helps me to bring you guys further content, as well get me closer to monetization. I'm still a long ways off on the um, on the watch time hours. I'm at, I think, 2,800 and I need 4,000. But I'm getting really close on the subscriber count. Uh, to date, I'm at 890 subscribers. So with any luck, we can uh, get 2,000 subscribers and, you know, who knows? And as well, uh, if it happens to where I have all the parts and everything, before I get to a thousand subscribers or just after, I know what I'm gonna do for a celebration video. You guys will not wanna miss that. So, uh, yeah, anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Um, hope we're staying safe during COVID-19. Good luck with everything you're working on, and as well. Um, if I can film you my ride, please let me know. Uh, I'll, in Alberta only at the moment, although if you're in BC or Saskatchewan, you can message me and we can figure out potentially sometime in the future probably months down the road that i can come out and see your stuff so uh yeah it doesn't matter if it's uh an absolutely mint condition car or if it's a field full of 
ratty cars that haven't ran in 50 years, I don't care. I would love to see them and love to film your stuff. So, uh, yeah, anyways, I'll talk to you all later. Bye! <coughs> 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 Asthma, Pikachu! <laughs>